This week, we are looking at the impact of climate change in San Diego four decades from now. Lauren joins us with a little bit early with a look at the dire future we face with our water. Lauren? And it is dire, Steve. The next time you turn on the faucet, consider where that water comes from. We're at the end of a very long hose which carries water from the Rocky Mountains and the Sierra Nevada range. Almost 90% of our water comes from outside the county, and already there is less of it. Get ready for strict water cutbacks. This year, San Diegans were asked to conserve 20 gallons a day, roughly a 10% cutback per home. We saved 3%. The best, the, you know, the hands down favorite option is to conserve water, is to use the water that we have more wisely. There is little doubt the way we use water will change in the coming decades because there will be more people competing for less of it. One and a half million more people may well live in San Diego County in the next 40 years, and the amount of water from our current sources will be less. The simple go out and dam a river or, or drill a well sort of natural supplies are going to be declining. To understand how climate change affects San Diego water, just look at the Sierra Nevada mountains. They were the ideal frozen reservoir. Our drinking water sat there, frozen and waiting to be used in the dry summer months. But as the climate warms, every year the snow melts a little earlier, forcing us to choose between using our dams for winter flood protection and saving every last drop of runoff. 80% of the uh, snowpack is gone as of April 1st by uh, roughly 2050. And that's under the best of conditions that we project right now. Conservation is coming. Lush tropical landscapes are on their way out. Desalination plants like the one planned for this lagoon in Carlsbad may dot the coastline. And like it or not, water will be used more than once. What we will not see is massive new reservoirs. The day of large uh, new reservoirs seems like it's all but over, um, both because of environmental concerns, but also we simply don't have that many more uh, places where a dam would work. San Diego is a desert, and during wet times, greening the desert seemed sustainable. But more people, more heat, and less water make it a lot less likely to see green down the road. Not only will we need to turn off the faucet more often, we will have to turn off the lights too, or they may be turned off for us. Climate change may leave us short of the electricity we need. We'll look at that aspect of the report tomorrow night at 7. How far are we away from desalination, recycling seawater? It seems like we have the whole ocean. Why not take advantage of it? Uh, yeah, f uh, fairly soon they'll begin uh, construction on a, a plant in Carlsbad, which will take Carlsbad offline from the rest of our water needs. It will be enough to support Carlsbad. So we're looking at and some What about the ones. issue that it's so expensive? Have you know what, there, there's some innovative ideas out there too. One professor friend of mine is looking at the idea of using geothermal, building these plants near geothermal pockets that can use the heat from that to uh, change the seawater into drinking, drinking and Exciting. irrigation water.